हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल इकोनॉमी का आई डॉक्टर गोपाल बी सारस्वत वेलकम यू ऑल टू माय चैनल रिलायबिलिटी एनालिसिस इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो वी डिस्कस्ड अबाउट हाउ टू कैलकुलेट रिलायबिलिटी फ्रॉम अ क्वेश्चन आयर यूजिंग माइक्रोसॉफ्ट एक्सेल बट टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू यूज आईबीएम एसपीएसएस सॉफ्टवेयर फॉर कैलकुलेटिंग रिलायबिलिटी ऑफ अ क्वेश्चन आयर सो लेट स्टार्ट द वीडियो first of all we must get acquainted with the data set we are having right now and i'll just show you the my data set this is a data set where i am having around 10 questions or you can say 10 variables x1 to x12 and these variables consisting the responses of my respondents there are around total 58 respondents i have those have filled these responses as you can check it till 58 59 this one is header so this is around 58 respondent have responded to my questions so this is the sheet i am having right now with microsoft excel so how we can calculate the reliability using spss so first i'll just close this window or this microsoft excel file and i am going to open spss first and when we uh, as the spss is opening up we must understand that when we have a data set the first thing is start with importing the data set which is you are having in the excel file to the spss so this is my data file and uh, for the spss and this is the new file of spss first of all to import my excel file i will go with the file tab go to open go to data once i click on data it will ask me where my file is located so first of all file type i have to select as a microsoft excel file and i have to locate my file my file name is customer satisfaction so i'll open this file once this file is started to getting import to the spss one dialog box is pop popping up here you can see this will showcase you all the 12 variables and how these variables will be presented here in spss so this preview will pop up so you just click on okay once you click on okay this will import the whole excel sheet here at spss so let's if i check on variable view you can see i have these 12 variables all are numeric type and in the data view i can we can check it here the total 58 respondents sheet is available with me so how to calculate reliability first go to analyze then go to scale reliability analysis here put all these question for which you want to calculate reliability to this item box i just selected by control a and then click here all have gone to the item scale then here the statistics tab i want to have a scale if item deleted correlation of inter item that's it continue and i want to calculate here there are different options of uh, calculating reliability analysis like cronbeck alpha split half goodman so i am just interested in alpha i click okay once i click okay this will pop up the result case processing summary i have a total 58 respondent nothing is excluded while calculating the reliability analysis this is the reliability statistics i am interested in this is inter item correlation matrix of and uh, individually how the variables are correlating to each other and major interest of mine is in item total statistics the how individual variable or individual question is aligning with and correlating with the overall structure of my questionnaire so i want interested in these two tables one item total statistics another reliability statistics so for convenience i just copied and pasted it into the the powerpoint presentation for you 
we can just check it out here this is the first table i calculated using the spss reliability statistics where cronbeck alpha value is 0.785 and we earlier uh, discussed about it in my previous video that if the reliability value is greater than 0.7 it shows that the reliability is very good if it is a more than 9 it is showing excellent reliability so near the 1 means better the reliability so reliability statistics shows that my questions or the 12 items or the variables which i consist in my questionnaire is highly reliable further the item total statistics that is also showing that my 12 variables their correlation you can see here this is 0 0.889 0 0.933 all of them are um, above 0 0.6 nothing is below 0 0.6 you can check it out so correlation seems to be good as a thumb rule your correlation must be or the inter item correlation must be greater than 0 0.3 so my all variables are satisfying this criteria so my individual questions correlation with the overall correlation of the structure of my questionnaire seems to be good so i am good with that condition so now moving ahead i also want to tell you how to calculate different other reliability options so here if i go to analyze again go to scale reliability analysis these all variables are still here the statistics remain the same continue but here i will want to calculate split half reliability so let's check this out here you can see this is the split half cronbeck alpha part 1 and part 2 it in the split half reliability it is uh, splitting my variables into equal half here you can see number of item 6 number of item 6 so in part 1 6 variables in part 2 6 variables so this means that equally this distributing so my part 1 of my questionnaire having reliability is 0.982 which is excellent which is very near to 1 and second half of my questionnaire consists 6 question reliability is 0.569 so this is not a good sign so if i want to work upon my the reliability part especially if i want to make certain changes so it is suggesting you can make certain changes to your uh, last six questions of your questionnaire so they are, this that is going to improve the quality of the reliability statistics of overall questionnaire so this is all from my side i hope you like my video thank you for watching